It's your girl Webmistress, aka I am everything. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Black Planet, and Google Plus. I did not have a Facebook, Pinterest, Snap, or Kick. Um, this is your girl over in Dallas. I use Lyft. I don't use Uber sometimes because I like to get out and see the world. And I am with a local driver that just picked me up, and he's going to give us the pros and cons of working with Lyft and Uber. So, Mr. Bobby, how long you been working for Lyft? Two years. Two years. And can you give me the rundown of what's basically what is the take home pay from Lyft per day? Uh, the average take home pay is between 100 and $120 a day. Eight hours. Eight hours, 120, 120 hours a day. And how long have you been working with both of Uber and Lyft? Uh, about two years, a little bit over two years. Okay, sounds good. Now, what you just like um, before I was recording, he was explaining to me the pros and cons of it. So, give me the about how you said how you, if you have idle time, break that down because I know it's probably some of my viewers do do both or use both. And when you have the idle time and you get a call, let me know why you decide to take the Lyft versus the Uber one. Whenever I have an idle time and if both the apps go off at the same time, I always take Lyft because Lyft seem to be more uh, more attuned with the needs of the driver than uh, Uber. Uh, Lyft have uh, programs that allow us to, uh, if we do so many rides, we can keep more of the money and it's on a graduated scale. But uh, uh, Uber do not have that uh, particular feature on their app. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, Uber do not have a, a tip feature on their app. So you very seldom get a tip with uh, Uber. Okay, so the, basically the features are better with Lyft versus Uber. Uber has more publicity and more trips, but you have more options to um, gain with Lyft, correct? Lyft is more driver friendly. Okay. Well, I'm glad you was able to give me that little tidbit because, I, like I was saying earlier, I use it. So I go out of town all the time, and I don't like to. I really don't even like driving. I drive, but I don't like highways. So I, you know, I kind of got the princess syndrome anyway. I prefer to chauffeur, <laughs> driving Miss Daisy sort of thing. That way, I don't have to deal with parking and um, lanes and gas and you know all the things that you don't really want to have to deal with when you're driving especially when you're out of town trying to take a trip or something that's the last thing I want to have to deal with is a car <laughs> so it's good that they have um, Lyft and Uber but not to, uh, not that this is any type of video to discredit Lyft I've heard good things about Lyft I've heard good things about Uber so both of them are great but what I've noticed from my drive from the drivers that I've gotten they all mostly work both which as the, uh, Bobby just explained that you have to um, you know, kind of work both of them to, to make it all add up. Have you had any, um, what's the, what's the, the, the cons of working with Lyft? Uh, Lyft, you don't have as much traffic. Okay. You, you may, with Uber, you may get 20, 30 rides and a request for, for a service, services, uh, within a, a 10 hour period. Okay. Lyft don't have the volume. They, you might get 8 to 10. Good, good. Thank you for that information. Like I was explaining to him earlier, I said, because um, I used to work at a cab company, Mr. Bobby, for about two and a half years I worked at a cab company, and I got the ins and outs of promotion and how I used, a lot of drivers, had, they had to relay on the, uh, rely on the dispatching system to send them trips. So what I tried to do was school them on how to promote themselves, you know, market themselves, get business cards printed out, and that's what they did. And a lot of the ones that I suggested that to, their business increased tremendously, like within a few days. Um, they were making three and four times as much money as they um, were getting initially. But you don't really have that option with Lyft. But I think, it, like how you said, you would drive to people that drive with Lyft only would like to ride with you and how you would go to their location. And then when they set the trip to show up, it shows you available because you're the closest one right there. So what I was saying in ways to market yourself, what you can do is get you some business cards out, have your name on there and whatever information you want to put on there that you work for Lyft. And you could pass it out when you're out shopping at the gym or anything that's 
outside of lift. I I'm, I'm guarantee you, if you took that little tidbit that of um, advice that I just offered, it would probably um, help you. I sense that you, you know, you'd still be marketing. There'd be more people that are calling Lyft for trips. I, so with more trips that they're getting, I, you, eventually in the long run, you would get more trips too. So I think you should look into that. I sure. Well, this has been your girl, Webmistress, a.k.a. I'm Everything. I'm going to upload this on YouTube. Mr. Bobby seems like a very pleasant gentleman. Um, I appreciate his time. Thank you so much for the interview, Mr. Bobby. You're welcome. This has been your girl. Holla.